Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, and many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light, okay? I return to source. I return to sender of negative energy and intent immediately and prominently. Anything the enemy stole from you is being returned to you as we speak. Any evil or negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled. Okay, let's find out what in the name of source is going on here. I hope you all are doing well. Okay, so we have the four of wands out here. So some of you could be about to get married. You could have a couple that's has something going on. Let's see what next is in here. I don't want to be out here pretending like, oh my gosh, we have the four of wands. You're about to be da 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 da. Oh, so there's a couple that is losing their privilege, their resources. They're falling from grace. This is a couple that had access to a lot of refund, uh, not refund, some, what, something about a refund. Well, it is tax season, so you know, there could be something going on about a refund. But there's a couple that has lost a lot of resources, possibly because they were paying for something to be done, uh, expecting something to come to them that's not coming to them. Yeah, they didn't take something seriously. They juggle their future, basically, they play with their future. There could be a feminine energy in this couple that has been mismanaging funds, basically. So maybe the masculine works. He works a successful job. And this fool here, the feminine energy, just stays home doing nothing, living that good life. Um, maybe she's been mismanaging her money, her husband's money, paying for spell work, paying for nonsense behind the scenes. Maybe her husband told a lie to her. I'm getting something about a masculine that possibly told his wife that another feminine energy did something to him, but it's not true. So maybe the wife made it her mission to come after you, Divine Feminine, uh, trying to get revenge on you for her husband, even though you didn't really do anything. So she may have been paying people behind the scenes to do you something, only to realize that she has ruined her future, his future, their future, the kid's future. May have even dipped into the baby's trust fund, college tuitions, just to have some type of ending come towards you. Um, they were trying to interfere with your abundance, but it, uh, it looks like they're the ones losing their abundance. Um, they did quite a lot. Now they're having to choose if they need to move forward with this nonsense that they have been partaking in or she has been partaking in, whatever it is. Maybe it's the both of them for some of you, and for some of you, it's just one of them. But now they have to decide, is this worth it? Is this not worth it? Do we need to take this action? Do we just need to mind our business? Um, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. This could be a couple that's into dark work. This card is down here at the bottom. So this could be a couple that's into doing black magic, right? They cause a lot of illusions around them. They could be like some type of couple that are into esoteric knowledge. Maybe the wife does the research and the husband practices it or both of them practice this nonsense trying to cause stagnation into other people's lives, feeding off of other people, stealing other people's blessings and things of that nature. But this couple, yeah, the truth has been exposed about them, right? The truth has been exposed about them. Actions they took in the past to interfere with some type of union. Uh, there's something about family matter going on here. The truth about a family is being seen. They may have interfered with some type of, yeah, I'm telling you. They may have interfered with some type of offer that was supposed to go to someone. And now these people are kind of stuck. Their finances are falling apart. Their relationships are falling apart. Their lives are falling apart because they interfere with something, some type of message, some type of collaboration, union, something. But these people are experiencing a lot. I think this couple expected to take some type of action. And I'm telling you, they're not having a good time. They're not having a good time. 
I think this couple expected to take some type of action against you to cause you a permanent ending, um, but it was interfered with. It's almost as though either she paid someone to come towards you or they paid someone to come towards you, or this whole group got together and paid someone to come do you something, and it did not go out according to plan. They don't have money to pay for magic anymore, to pay for this nonsense anymore, so something is going to be coming into fruition, and it absolutely was orchestrated for it to go this way. Um, it's what I'm hearing. They were supposed to wear out, dr drain out their finances to the point where they were depleted and didn't have money to pay for spell work anymore. Someone is telling them money to be as work. You don't have money. I can't be talking to you. What is, is that? The, uh, 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 who said that if you went talking money, you can't be talking to me? Is that Jay-Z? I think so. I, I'm not, I don't listen to a lot of rap music, but I do listen to some uh, so forgive me if I get the artist wrong, but someone says money talk BS walk. So these people or this couple cannot afford to pay for whatever it is they've been paying for. And they're disappointed. They may be having nightmares because they took all of these malicious actions against you. Um, only for you to thrive forward or for this union to still come together. Someone, someone has been telling a lot of lies juggling someone's character someone's image uh saying that someone was either a liar a thief something of that nature someone said that you were bullying them but you didn't bully this person someone said you were difficult to be around to talk to to work with something of that nature but it's not true and the truth is being seen this couple could be in some type of toxic relationship they may not even like each other from what i'm seeing they may have some type of karmic so tied with one another they're just stuck with one another nobody wants either party um outsiders don't, don't want to be with either because people can see what these two are about so they're kind of in a sense it, it, kind of in a sense they're fitted to be in this lifetime because no one wants to put up with their shenanigans okay this is absolutely yeah i'm telling you you're still getting this Ten of Pentacles. So this this could be what they were trying to interfere with. They wanted to block this from coming to you. This is success. This is not something that's like you just you wake up one day you're in this energy. This is something people work for. People work to build. So you could be someone that's working at a job and you are very good at your job, very committed at your job. And this couple has been doing stuff behind the scenes trying to pay people to block this abundance from being given to you. This could be a promotion. This could be an advancement. This could be some type of a uh, bonus check some type of incentive that's going to put you in a different bracket. And these people have been doing things behind the scenes, paying people to block you from receiving this 10 of pentacles. But it sounds like you're still receiving this 10 of pentacles because it's well-deserved. And they are heartbroken about that. Someone is having a nightmare to, to know that you are still receiving something. Maybe someone told someone that you are not going to receive this 10 of pentacles. It's almost as though, let's just do use this for an example, right? Let's say someone has some type of vendetta against you to destroy your future, destroy your path, right? And, you know, they follow you basically everywhere you go. You get in a new relationship. They will approach this new person and speak very ill to you about them. May disclose some personal information that should not be disclosing. Whether it's true or not, they don't care. They're going to tell this new person how you have this, how you're horrible. You're, you know, you're not someone that's worth committing to all kinds of stuff and this is not even someone that knows much about you they don't know you from adam they don't know you from the bosom they just know they have a vendetta to, uh, to destroy you you may have hurt this person's ego something right someone is unhealed so everything you say it triggers them right so they've made it their mission to destroy you so every connection you get in they will approach that person behind the scenes to deter them from uh, uh committing to you if you start a new job they're going to go approach your, your your boss to try to get you fired or uh, maybe even one of your co-workers someone here may have approached one of your co-workers right and maybe the co-worker has some type of close bond with your boss or someone of that nature something like that um and told them that maybe your boss was considering you for a promotion or something like that and whoever this nasty character is told your co-worker to make sure that you don't get that promotion right that ten of pentacles but you know maybe this person told your boss that oh i don't think you should give him the promotion i don't think he's deserved the promotion he doesn't do enough to be receiving that blah 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 
And maybe for a time, your boss may consider it. For some of you, they may say, oh, well, you know, maybe they shouldn't receive this promotion. Um, maybe I am jumping the broom on this one. Maybe I need to be a little bit more cautious. So it's not that you're not going to get the promotion. Your boss just decides that he or she is going to take time to think about it, study you, figure out what you're about. If you're someone that's beneficial to have in the company on a long-term basis, and eventually they'll come to their conclusion that, yeah, that you are someone beneficial to have in the company. You don't have to be 100% perfect, but someone sees that you are worthy to invest in. So you're still going to receive this 10 of pentacles. And whoever this couple is or this group is, they are stuck in some type of toxic paradigm because they are disappointed that they've invested all of this time to smear someone's character, block someone's future, block someone's happiness, and they're still going to be prosperous in life right they could have been uh as i said paying people collecting donations you know they hire one person to come and end you it doesn't work they collect more donations hire the next person there was abs yeah absolutely there was a plan to have someone come in and do something to another person you could be a feminine energy a energy a masculine energy Someone was supposed to come in and end you, but there was some type of interference. This person cannot take the action that they needed to take, right? So your Ten of Pentacles is still uh, uh, insured. You could have someone behind the scenes advocating for you. You could be dealing with a toxic couple and a non-toxic couple for some of you. And for some of you, you're dealing with a whole toxic group and maybe people in there, a couple of people in there may be advocating for you now because the truth has been exposed about something, how people have been interfering with your life, your finances, your stability. For a lot of you, this, this seems like it has been the theme for this year of 2024, just the truth being exposed about what people have been doing behind the scenes to interfere with other people's life, and they're having rude awakenings for the actions that they took. Someone may be surprised that someone is advocating for you now, or that a couple is advocating for you now. Maybe, maybe in the past, this, these are people that were possibly against you, or maybe these are people that kind of just stay there dormant, not even involving themselves, but now they're seeing that things are not right. So they may be taking actions to advocate for you, right? Someone may be taking some type of impulsive action or they were supposed to to cause you some type of ending, but that person is falling from grace while you are prospering, okay? So it's just really interesting how committed these people are to someone else's life. It's like, this is my life. I'm not doing nothing to interfere with your, yours. If you're happy in yours, great. I love it for you. If you're not happy, sorry. I hope you figure out what makes you happy. But some of these people... They don't think that way. They think it's your mission. Look, I said something about healing and I just saw the star car somewhere. But they make it their mission to take down other people instead of investing in themselves to heal. Not realizing they're just setting themselves back time and time again because they choose to be toxic. They choose to be karmic. Listen, toxic, karmic, low vibrational instead of focusing on themselves. Like it's just redundant at this point. It's redundant. Okay, someone is losing sleep over this Ten of Pentacles. And it's not even that they were going to get the Ten of Pentacles if you didn't get it. They just didn't want you to have it. You possibly don't even have anything to do with these people. You don't mention these people. You probably, probably don't even know these people for some of you. But maybe you met them in the past. You may have said something that they took out of context. Maybe they were trying to destroy you and weren't able to, so they took it personal, so they've made it their vendetta to come after you. And for someone out there, specifically in our soul tribe, there is a couple that's masculine, lied to his wife about something you did to him, and she took it personal, and she's been paying people behind the scenes to interfere with your life, violate your privacy, and the both of them are about to be facing some type of legal issues. Maybe he's not aware. He's about to find out. This Ten of Pentacles is going to lead to success for you. You may end up finding love as well um, that has something to do with this Ten of Pentacles for some of you, okay? Uh-oh, we have cars flying out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. People are not accepting, like, this bribery anymore. Yeah, someone was supposed to take action to come in and do something, but they cannot. 
Um, people are not accepting this bribery anymore. People are not investing in this mess anymore. They are tired. They're not focusing their time on it. Someone is not able to manifest some type of uh, tragic ending for you. It's what they wanted to do. This could be a feminine energy that was trying to manifest some, some, trap, some type of tragic ending for another feminine energy, but it's not coming into... Uh, uh, um, it's not coming into being. It's not going to be happening, right? Someone may have been trying to manifest you being pulled out of a home, being let go at a job. You're just losing everything overall. But it looks like you have a fresh new beginning coming in, right? Um, you're finding balance in your life, headed towards stability. You have a lot of new fresh pers uh, uh, possibilities coming towards you. New doors are opening and things of that nature. You're about to be on solid ground if you weren't before. Like everything is just getting better for you, okay? Like you're about to be living in luxury. You're about to be like just very uh, abundant in life. And you're going to be humble about how you handle this wealth that's been given to you that you're being blessed with, right? Whereas this feminine energy that, you know, overindulges, this is someone materialistic. In the reverse, this is someone absolutely materialistic, overindulges. Uh, that's that come that... You know, the feminine energies, when you meet them, they want everyone to know that they're, they're wearing Gucci and Louis Vuitton, um, all of that. They drive a Bentley, a Mercedes, a Porsche. They want you Porsche, They want you to know that what they have, how wealthy they are. And oftentimes, as we know, what they have on or what they have outside is not what's in the bank account. The bank account and the physical are not reflecting each other, right? So they can have on the most expensive perfume, body oil, uh, most expensive clothes, driving the best car, but their bank account is bleak, um, like mine's. So people like this, this is a humbling experience for them. They said, oh, you thought you were better than this person because of how much money you had or how much money your partner made. Let's fix this real quick, okay? So they may end up losing their stability or this is what they're going through right now, whereas you're gaining your stability. Their forward movement is being blocked because the truth is being exposed. Uh, they're having a hard time. These are people that are on heel. I think I mentioned that before. Neither of them are heel. They're toxic right? The husband lies a lot and the wife is in balance, right? She has made her vendetta. Even though they may not like each other, they are partners in crimes, right? She is just as committed to malic 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 <laughs> maliciousness. Why couldn't that come out? I don't think sis wants me calling her that. My dear, you're malicious. She's, she is just as committed to, committed to her malicious... What in the world maliciousness? Lord have mercy. She's committed to her maliciousness. God, honey, we're going to have to get this message out. I don't know what to tell you. If you watch me, then it's absolutely imperative that you listen because you need healing. You may be coming after someone that didn't do anything to you or your husband. You need to find out the truth. Ask your husband, did someone do something to him? And I know that you've been, you've been with your husband for a long time. This year doesn't just come about in a day. You two have been together for a long time. So you need to look that man in the eye and ask him, hey, did she do something to you? And you will be able to tell if he's telling the truth or not. Someone lied to you and you made it personal to come after another feminine energy. This is ridiculous. Can we grow up, please? And can we act our age? There are more more uh, easy and subtle ways to resolve matters, misunderstandings and things like that, right? Instead of going to this extent where you're losing your finances, falling from grace, about to be pinching penny, living from paycheck to paycheck, like you've lost everything because you are too imbalanced to behave maturely, handle things maturely, right? I understand, yeah, they're married, they're married. I understand the whole thing about marriage where, you know, the two become one, but you have to be upfront and center with your partner behind closed doors. Yeah, you want to support them, but just because you want to support them does not mean you should permit their toxic behaviors. And if both of you are toxic, then you need to go to counseling instead of coming for the wrong people. Okay. But they're not able to take any actions towards you. Absolutely not. They're being forced to see things from a higher perspective. Someone in this, listen, it fell right under the couple, right? 
family, it could be a group, a couple, they are being forced to see things in a practical way. They're having to use their common sense, right? The King of Pentacles is someone that has a lot of common sense and he knows how to use it, even though sometimes he may try to disregard that. But they're being forced to use their common sense. How do they want to proceed in this matter? It's not going in their favor. Do they want to keep paying for this nonsense because they're being depleted of their finances they're losing security a lot of them have lost security and if they want to restore their security they're going to have to put an end to this madness right there could be a king of pentacles in this group for some of you where this is a whole group coming after you who is not able to take action towards you anymore because he he has ulterior motives Someone wants to come in and cause you a lot of illusions and things of that nature. Someone wants to have some type of connection with you. But, yeah, he has ulterior motive. Someone is reckless. He's impulsive. Yeah, he's reckless and impulsive. This is not someone you want to connect with until they're you. Because this is someone that's impulsive. They think they're really smart, but they're not Someone wants to force force you into some type of family dynamic. Like he's desperate to have a family, but he's not family material because he didn't take the time to heal or nothing. This is someone unhealed. This is someone unhealed. He's just mature in age, but this is someone that's been a ladies' man his whole life, hopping from relationship to relationship, possibly dibbling and dabbling in things he should not be. And now he's sitting back and realizing, oh my Lord, all my good years are gone. He lays his eyes on you, star seeds, and I have to have that one. She looks grounded. He looks grounded. He looks down to earth, stable, focused. I want a relationship with that person. Initially, maybe they thought you would like them naturally. Maybe you didn't show any interest. Or for some of you, they knew that you come from a different background. You're a star seed, and they, they are a little bit on the devilish side of things and they said oh nope i gotta change myself so they took some type of reckless action to either go and pay for voodoo to be done so you can fall in love with them and if the voodoo didn't work yeah it led to some type of ending for them they thought they were gonna have some type of new beginning with you like they were gonna force you into a new beginning but make it look genuine it's not happening right because this is someone that does not have foresight this is like a king of pentacles that's in the reverse. Even though he's showing up here in the reverse, this is his intentions for you. He wants to have a family with you, but he's not healed. He's not uh, 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 open-minded, open-hearted. Something is up with him, basically. And he's going through some type of ending because he took some type of action against you, right? He took some type of action against you to block some type of new beginning. So it could be that there was a masculine that was interested in you that he knew. Yeah, you're keeping your distance from this person. Or they may be being forced to keep their distance from you because of their ulterior motives. There could have been a masculine that was interested in you and wants to connect with you. And this king of pentacles was trying to take action to beat this person to you. It's that like he's beating him to the punch. Like before you get to her or to him, I'm going to get there first. And source was saying, eh, hold up, hold up, stay right there. And that was your justice. Him being kept away from you is your justice because there's ulterior motives. A lot of the times, if you're meant to have some type of relationship with someone, there's going to be no like obstacles and things like that for this person to have contact with you. If you notice someone is trying to be with you and there are a lot of blockages and things like that being put in your way, that's the universe telling you something, that there's something about this person you need to be cautious of. We're trying to protect you, right? Because you connecting with them may lead to a lot of sorrows. I'm telling you, this person has a lot of ulterior motives right this is not someone that's going to be upfront with you like they know in order to be with you they have to be healed but they're not willing to do the work to be healed so they cannot move forward to you or with you yeah you're a healer he betrayed you i told you this masculine betrayed you before so this is someone from your past Either this is someone from your past or this is someone you know, but you may not be aware that they betray you. 
They took action in the past to betray you heavily and it's hunting them. They thought they were gonna, they were gonna come in and sugarcoat things for you. Right, sugarcoat things for you, make it seem like they're all, you know, successful, you have good intentions for you, wanna build with you, but they were not gonna tell you the truth. You have a few masculines that have their eyes on you, Starcy. You have a few masculines that have their eyes on you, but this King of Pentacles, be wary of this person. Yeah, this is a, honey, this is a gas lighter. This is not someone that oper operates from his emotions. This is someone that's financially focused. Everything is about money. So if you have some type of abundance attached to you, like this Ten of Pentacles here, this person, that's why they want to connect to you. They want to connect to you because your life is elevating. It's about to elevate. They are aware of this in some way, somehow, and that's why they want to connect with you. So just be mindful, okay? Just be mindful. Someone may have wanted to send you some type of message to cause you an illusion. It's being blocked. So some of you, even though these people are interfering with your, your messages, your communication, communications in a way they are doing you a favor they're blocking out the negative energies because source does not want those people around you so they're doing you a favor yeah what the heck was that there have been people working together against you it could be too masculine in a feminine energy or just a whole group of people going up against you all. Just trying to block you from moving forward, trying to block your work, trying to block your love life, trying to block your intuition, all kinds of stuff. Just trying to block you. They don't want you to be assertive in life. They don't want you to, lay, to be someone that has a mind of your own. They don't want you just, you know, having any type of dreams. They want you to fall from grace so you can be... Toxic, serving the devil, being an agent of the devil is not happening. They may want you to collaborate with them now that they know they cannot defeat you. It is not absolutely happening. That is a lot of ridiculousness. It is not happening. Yeah, someone is on you. They have a lot of lust for you. They have a, this is all this person thinks about is what is it like to be with this person? physically explicitly that's all they're thinking about they're not thinking about oh i need to go and heal i need to fix my mind i need to stop hopping from woman to woman this is the time to settle i need to invest the actual work and time and effort into being balanced being the best version of myself stay away from this person actually it looks like spirit is keeping them away from you okay um so there are other people working against you behind the scenes that you're not aware of they just do not want you in any type of positive relationship they may want to send someone towards you where you end up in some type of lustful lustful union with this person and it's going to be toxic as hell whoever they're sending towards you it's not you at all okay it's not you at all this was supposed to be someone that was coming in to uh, play with your emotions, play with your mental. They're going to come in, present themselves to be honest, be true, be sincere, be gifted, be spiritual. They're not. This is someone who is a fraud, right? This is someone that has some type of addition to SEX. They live with a lot of people. So maybe for the first month or two of the relationship, they were going to be committed to you. But after that, it was going to be you, Sasha, uh, uh, Maria, Antoinette, whoever else you can think of. And you all were going to have your day of the month. I said it, the day of the month. This is how rarely you are going to be seeing this person. Meanwhile, while all of this nonsense is going on, you've made the decision to commit to your dreams, commit to your goals, keep moving forward, not paying attention to these karmics and what they have going on. Someone has still decided out of all of this madness, madness that these people have been doing behind the scenes to give you a commitment, to give you a commitment. And they know this person is being blocked out of your energy and you and them are not going to be getting together because they know that person is not you. And that is your victory, okay? Someone is heartbroken about that. 
I was like, what? What? You mean we can't stop your love life? We can't stop your success? We can't stop you from being happy? They don't understand how you're still calm and content moving forward in life ever, after everything that's stolen and blocked from you. But someone is still coming in to give you a solid offer. They're going to take things slowly with you because they know you've been through quite a lot. And they're hoping that everything will be successful, right? Someone knows about a lot of betrayal that took place. Everything this person did and everything everyone else did to you, someone knows. They are aware of it. Whoever is coming towards you could be younger than you as well. Uh, for some of you, feminine energy. Uh, and for some of you, the masculine could be older than you. Okay? So, it's a whole lot going on. It's a whole lot going on. There could be a king of swords here going through some type of sorrows, sorrows, sorrows. Because he took some type of action to betray you as well. It's like all of these people are coming into some type of realization about what they did. Maybe worked with a queen of wands. There's a whole lot of energies here. Basically, we almost have all of the court cards out here. So you've had a, quite a few people coming up against you. Some of these people are married. Some of these people are single. Some of these people are in relationships, but they have interest in you. Something of that nature. They, they all have their own motives for coming after you. Okay? Yeah. Trying to block you. Steal from you. Stop you. But they're all exposed. The king of wands, king of uh, uh, wands is exposed. The king of swords is exposed. Queen of wands, queen of uh, pentacles, queen of swords. They're all exposed. You're going to be ending up with an emperor. This could be someone that owns his own business and things like that. He may see you as someone that's very sharp, maybe a little bit of a smart mouth, but he's okay with that because he knows that you are someone genuine. This could be a, a feminine energy showing up in her masculine energy. Whatever it is, apply the energy where it fits. But someone sees you as a queen of swords. Very sharp with it. Smart. Smart mouth. A little feisty. You can come across as cold sometimes. But you're just about your business. You don't like to be fooled around with mentally. Okay. And there's a queen of swords in here that's being exposed for being a thief. Someone tried to steal from you and she's exposed. Someone tried to steal your either some type of opportunity from you. Like they didn't want you to be seen as an option in something. They stole something or tried to steal something and it's been exposed. Or it's going to be exposed. Is that the scenes of the full fathers and theirs are being exposed yeah try to steal your work interfere with your work block your work you could be like on a social media platform or this can have to do with a nine to five this can have to do with something that you some type of work you do people were trying to steal it block it you know interfere with it they didn't want it growing they didn't want it growing they didn't want you prospering they had ulterior motives Someone could have planned to come in and give you some type of false opportunity to partner up with you just to destroy your business. It's a whole lot of plans going on. A whole lot of planning. Yeah. Yeah, they tried to block you from being successful in your work. Uh, being focused, having wish fulfillment. They didn't want you enjoying the final things in life. They didn't want you committing with the right person to enjoy the final things in life, to being loved and all of that. They don't want any of that for the both of you. Okay? Someone's trying to steal something from someone. It's like they're trying to either steal your position at work, trying to steal your platform, trying to steal your products, trying to steal your identity. Just trying to steal something from you. And this is a whole group in collaboration. It's like they're choosing a character that they believe is a better version of you. And they're the one that should be out here being you. How does that work? Meanwhile, you're focused on your dreams, building. You, yeah, you have your victory. You're going to keep going forward. 
there's some type of action you took that ensure your victory over these people it has caused some type of stagnation in their plans against you i'm telling you someone was supposed to come in take some type of action to unalive someone to end you this is something they have been working on for a while they were dotting all their eyes on, on this day we're gonna do this on this day, we're going to put this here and say that they did it. On this day, we're going to take this. On this day, we're going to say this and say that they did it. On this day, we're going to send this message from their email. On this day, we're going to block their email. So if they receive any type of communication, they cannot receive it. They cannot see it. And then on this day, you're going to go in and honor life them. But there was some type of interference. They cannot. You're protected. It was planned out. It was planned out. Yeah, I'm telling you. It was planned out. They thought they were going to have victory, but it's not. They thought they had planned it out well enough for you to be destroyed, but it's not. All that ended up happening is them losing finances, connections. Most of them don't even like each other anymore. I don't even think they ever did. Their, their whole group is falling apart. But when you see them, you're not going to see that. They're putting on a show. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, it was a plan. Just like they were planning to take you out, the universe was planning. Divine interference. They have to walk away from this plan. Like, let it go. Let it go. You could have your, whoever you're meant to be with could be going through some type of recovery period right now. It could be mental. They could have contracted something. It could be anything, right? Uh, They could just be going through some type of healing journey, awakening, right? And they're going to come out in this energy before they come towards you. I've noticed like, after a while in my reading, because channeling is so draining, like, I can tell when my energy is, like, starting to, like, is it, no, come back, come back, come back. Because I'm so, but I'm, like, training, I mean, channeling is just so draining. It's absolutely draining. Yeah. This person, oh, oh. Source interfere, like, your ancestors interfere on your behalf. These people are going through challenges. It's like every plan they come up with is a no. Plan A didn't work. Let's do plan B. Source is like no. C, no. D, no. E, no. Nothing. This is the challenge they're facing. There's nothing they can do. It doesn't matter what plan they come up with. It's not happening. Like, like Source has taken control of this situation. And like they're, they're like, uh-uh. Nope. Not happening. Not on my watch. You all have done enough. All I keep hearing is no, 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 and no. Yep, thank you. Right. Like their plans are, inter their, their plans are flawed. Whatever plan that they had to cause you some type of heartbreak to end you, it's a no. Someone who has like legal issues coming to them because something has been exposed someone may have exposed something to them and they know they have legal issues coming in they know what's coming like this couple they know what's coming this group they know what's coming that feminine energy she knows what's coming they effed up royally it's a no they are not able to take action towards you to end you some of these people may have went to a high priestess and she uh, revealed this to them or he revealed it to them. Like they took some type of action to go to a high priestess and say, hey, are we still able to defeat this person if we do this? No. Can we defeat this person if we do this? No. What about this? No. What about this? No. What about that? No. You can't. So now they know they may not want to partner up with you. Say, hey, I said partner up and I just saw the seven of, uh, seven of cups. 
It said, hey, we know we were trying to end you in all, block your forward movement and things, but we've realized you're extremely gifted. You're beneficial to have on the team. Wouldn't you like to partner up with us, darling? All you have to do is sign your name on the dotted line. And you're looking at them like, you... Mm, you got to keep the word to yourself. And you just politely say, no, thank you. And someone there is saying, what a loss. We should have partnered up with this person this whole time. What a loss. And you know, you know, it's a hard, it's, it's an interesting and hard situation when you're going up against someone that knows your ending. Because these high priestesses, a lot of the times, they know what's going to happen. They know the future future for each person involved is that you, you're going to prison. You, you're about to get a divorce. You know how that marriage is so important to you. You like to tell everybody, my husband, my husband, my husband, this, my husband, that. You're about to get a divorce. You know how you like to show your car up to people? Yeah, it's about to be gone. That house that you live in that you look down on other people in from, gone. Right? Your health, gone. So that's I think that's why high priestesses stay quiet for so long because they just know the information that they know is deadly, is dangerous. It's like, honey, I already seen your ending. I don't need to go back and forth with you. So we're just gonna sit here. Since you don't wanna heal, you don't wanna take a new path, we're just gonna sit here and watch you go out and act a fool. Hit us with your best shot, I'm telling you. Hmm. Yeah, they were supposed to be taking some type of action to come in as well to have you trapped, have you caught up in some type of uh, uh, legal matters. They went and possibly told the authorities that you were doing something to them. It's not happening. You know, oh, she's, you know, some of these people have like connections in the justice system so they can just go and write some type of false statement against someone and lo and behold, here comes their puppet from the justice system. Hey, we have a complaint that you did this to this person, filing false reports and stuff. You're, you're, you're looking at all of them like, really? That's the best plan you could come up with? Right. So they had some type of plan to bring you legal issues, but you're not going to have any legal issues. As a matter of fact, these people are going to be the ones having to answer questions and things of that nature. Yes, the police may call you in and ask you a few questions just to get your side of the story. But there's someone in law enforcement that knows that there's a crooked or a few crooked uh, characters around them and they're going to do the right thing but there's also a high priestess in here that has trapped herself and this is because of money this woman was willing to do anything for money and she trapped herself with these people this woman is stuck in her mind someone is stuck in their mind having to defend themselves their actions because the message the reading that she gave to these people is not how it's going to go it's not how it's going in the past, she could have told these people that they were going to have victory over you, but it looks like that's not what's going on. It looks like that's not what's going on because the truth has been revealed to either some type, some type of leader, some type of justice character, law enforcement character, that people were taking actions to trap a high priestess in this situation. They were trying to trap you and they were trying to bring you legal proceedings, legal issues. And whatever legal issues they want to bring you or are going to bring you, you're going to win. And they know it. Someone is losing sleep over there because they know they're going to lose against you. They may even try to back out of the case when it gets to a certain point, but you're going to be winning. It's like they're taking you to court for one thing, but that one thing is, going, is being looked into and it's exposing other things. And someone is not ready for that. They're not, they're not ready for the other things. Say, so, oh, what were you doing here at this time? If you're suing for this, how is this this, right? You said they owe you $500. Why are you suing for uh, $500,000? <laughs> Why did you bill them this amount this month? 
Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Someone thought it was gonna be easy PC, like they take you to court, you weren't gonna fight back, you weren't gonna say nothing back, you're just gonna say, oh yeah, well, I owe the money, so I'm gonna pay the money. No, it's gonna be an actual court case, and it's going in your favor, collective. Starcy is going in your favor. It's going in your favor, I'm telling you. It's going in your favor. You may even end up receiving some type of financial payout because of this court case for some of you. Like the truth, I'm telling you, and it's going to be an ending. Like source is not playing. This financial payout, this uh, reward, whatever this is, elevation, is going to help you put an end to the past. So that you're about to be a brand new person. What's that saying? Rip me out the plastic bag. I'm feeling brand new. That's about to be you. There could be like a Scorpio in here, a Sagittarius, a Pisces. Like we have a whole lot of the difference. I think everybody, everybody is out here. Virgo, everyone is out here. I don't really like to do like Zodiac readings and things like that because I feel like it limits it's limiting because sometimes people don't want to watch those videos if you say like uh scorpio here's your reading uh uh cancer libra your weekly reading or something people will only come if it's their zodiac sign right so i'm not really a big zodiac reader like i understand the zodiacs and things like that i'm not like an expert on the birth charts but i understand it but i'm not i, I won't be doing like zodiac readings on this channel Anyways, Spirit, please end us on a positive note. Our collective is putting an end to the past, putting an end to karmic people. And then, I like how this came out. It's the Seven of Pentacles and then the Death. That means your period of waiting is over. You no longer have to wait for something. Like, you've been waiting for a long time. For a long time. And this is because people didn't have clarity on some type of situation. Because there were so many hands in the pots causing illusions. It started with one person. They started hiring other people, manipulating people behind them. Uh, at some point, these people didn't even know what they were involved in, but they kept going. So there, there's like so many pieces to the puzzle that had to be put together. This is why it has taken so long for justice to be brought in this situation. And someone is still delusional enough to think they can take you to court and win. And they don't know, source is intervening. intervening. They're about to go through some type of ending in a lot of ways. Financially, romantically, st st stability-wise, a whole lot of endings. But this is what they were hoping that you will go through. Like your period of waiting is over. You're about to be thriving in life. I told you. About to be thriving in life. Look at that. You're about to be thriving. You. Some of you may be getting married. Some of you are about to be meeting your soul tribe, forming beautiful, long-lasting friendship, being very uh, resourceful, bountiful in life, sharing with the people that matter to you. You may have a whole new family of your own, right? New friendships, new places, new everything, but success. This was a beautiful reading. This was a beautiful reading. But whoever that privileged lady is up there is not a privileged lady anymore. It is done. She was expecting some type of good news. She did a whole lot. Sis was committed to her cuss. But nope, she was expecting some type of good news. The only good news she's getting is that, oh, I want a divorce for someone out there. And she's losing access to that 10 of pentacles. That's for someone out there. There's a woman that thought she was going to get good news from a masculine. And she didn't get that. Instead, he said, I want a divorce. I want to move on. Okay. 
Um, I think this has come out before. I'm going to do another one. Okay. Source, what is your advice to us today? Okay. Okay. So we're going to do seven, uh, 25 is 7, of course. Um, lucky number. Uh, you have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Lower curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Hallelujah to that. Zero, fresh starts, starting over, new beginnings, okay? Rebirth, regeneration. There is no beginning and no end, right? That cycle of incarnation. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. Absolutely. There could be someone in our soul trap where you are still hiding or not embracing your spiritual side. So maybe that's for you. Um, I will invest in that side of yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Study as much as possible. Learn as much as possible. Spirituality, metaphysical topics, and things like that. Um, your life is for you. Don't worry about what people think about you. Um, if it makes you happy, then that's what you do. It's not about them. It's about you. Okay? Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.